when we talk about the knowledge of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, many of you would obviously know, I'm just repeating it, the knowledge of Allah encompasses many aspects to show the greatness of Allah. يَعْلَمُ مَا كَانَ وَمَا يَكُونُ وَمَا لَمْ يَكُنْ إِذَا كَانَ كَيْفَ يَكُونُ Allah knows the past. He knows the past. مَا كَانَ يَكُونُ is mudara in the Arabic language. It is present and future. So Allah knows the past. He knows the present and He knows the future. But there is something more than that that Allah knows. Which is amazing. Allah knows that which was not going to happen and will not happen. If it were to happen, how it would have happened? Allah knows it already. Can I give you an example from the Quran? In Surah Al-Kahf, and I'm sure we read it, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks about certain incidents that happened between Musa alayhi salam and Al-Khidr. Al-Khidr. And Allah speaks about one of them where a young boy was killed by Al-Khidr. And Musa alayhi salam says, how can you kill this man without any reason? No purpose. We are not allowed to kill just because you might have had a disagreement or a difference. You have no right to take away the life that Allah gave. Who gave life? Allah. How can you take away life that Allah gave? If Allah wants, He will take that life away. He has more power than you and I. Subhanallah. So Al-Khidr says, look, you don't know what I've done. Just leave it. It was from Allah inspired. Subhanallah. And then he explains that had this child grown older, he would have been a source of misfortune for his parents and a source of sadness, a source of perhaps harm to his parents. Therefore, Allah chose to take him away at an early age to avoid his parents suffering and him to actually end in a bad way. So it was the blessing of Allah. What I learned from this, the biggest lesson is Allah knows that which was never going to happen because Allah knew that this child is going to go now. But Allah knew if we gave him life, which we were not going to do anyway. But if we did it, he would have turned out to be X, Y, and Z. That's the knowledge of Allah. So if you did not come here today, where you would have been, Allah knows. But Allah also knew that you were going to come here. It is so amazing that sometimes it confuses the mind. You need to sit and think about it. You need to sit and think. That's the knowledge of Allah. He is the owner of all knowledge.